I want to be so dead, dead. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Ho, the Tales, Tales Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Jasmine Sullivan EP, Ho, Tales. This is a new release of music from singer and songwriter Jasmine Sullivan, a Philly artist who saw quite a bit of commercial success in the late 2000s, dealing mostly in pop and soul and R&B. And while her latest material may not be doing the same numbers as her debut record, Fearless, the well-deserved support from artists and critics alike has continued uninterrupted over the past decade. Now, if you have not been following Jasmine's career closely up until this point, uh, maybe it's kind of time to do so because it seems like she's really outdoing herself on this EP. Making better and more interesting production choices than she did on her last album, Reality Show, and turning the entire thing into a mini concept record about women's sexual agency. Love and sex are obviously not revolutionary topics in the R&B world, and on top of that, the genre does have a history of platforming women's voices, but like any other form of popular media, its messaging can be dogged by gender stereotypes, which Sullivan tries to transcend on this project. Not just through her own words, but also through the point of view of various guests she brings onto this project to tell their own stories of love, sexual empowerment, infidelity. This is displayed through a series of short dialogue snippets that mostly alternate with the EP's core songs. So with some of the context and storytelling of this thing out of the way, I have to say uh, the biggest selling point of this EP though, vocal performances, the songs, starting with Pick Up Your Feelings, my god, the vocal lines on this thing are fiery and the attitude is cold-hearted, with Jasmine essentially reaching this breaking point in a relationship where where her demeanor is just so nonchalant. It's over, I caught you slipping up, give me my keys, and when you go, make sure to pick up your feelings. The track is in 3-4 time, it's got a nice sway to it, simple but effective bass line, some light touches of strings too, and the details in the background vocals on the track are gorgeous, just so dynamic. Then the following song, Put It Down, almost explains how we reached the point of the previous track in a way. Instrumentally, it plays like a piece of woozy trap with dreamy keys and a crisp beat. Then the lyrics here don't really seem to reflect Jasmine in a logical state of mind. In fact, she actually sounds entranced on the chorus here. She explains because this guy really uh, puts it down. So as a result, she's given him money, given him her keys, the keys uh, on the previous track she was asking for back. But hey, the track's angle of feeling powerless in the face of desires for sex and love, I mean, that's infinitely relatable. Then there is incredible chemistry between Jasmine and Ari Lennox on the following track on it. God, the lyrics and the pace on this one. It's such a goddamn tease. Plus, the way their voices trade off, and as one of them is singing lead, the way the other sort of embellishes on that singing in the background, this thing is just hotter than a nuclear meltdown. We then have another impressive feature on this EP with Anderson Pack on the song Price Tags. Anderson is charismatic as usual, playing the other side of this story where Jasmine is talking about uh, essentially this relationship she's in being sort of a money pit. Money is keeping it afloat essentially and uh, she's kind of draining this guy down to his last dollar and <laughs> as a result uh, things kind of end. There's also a pretty chunky hip-hop style beat behind this one, and Jasmine drops uh, essentially what's a sung rapped feature on her own song that is just dripping with swagger. There is also the Touching Lost one, where Jasmine expresses lyrically a lot of regret, a lot of remorse over destroying something that she had, uh, love-wise, that she now wishes she could get back, but maybe it's too late at this point. Uh, my one issue with this song is, is really just how muddy and one-dimensional the guitar lines in the background are. I think the track shows a lot of pain, a lot of emotion, but really could have used uh, uh, some oomph or a bit more dynamics on the instrumental end. There's also the aspirational other side, where Jasmine is singing about wanting finer things over being being broke, and it seems that she's willing to uh, sort of put herself in a situation love-wise where, again, money is kind of keeping things alive to get it. And yeah, while the desires do run a little bit shallow, the details that go into the descriptions of 
the things that she is seeking on this track seem uh, very self-aware, very knowing, clearly tying into a larger pattern on this EP where seeking instant pleasures drives her into these personal and emotional dead ends. Then the closing track, Girl Like Me featuring her, hits with some opening lines that just reek of desperation. I made a profile on Tinder since you left me to be with her. I think that means I'm getting desperate. Wish I could return to sender. The relationship is over at this point. She's confused as to why it doesn't have all of the answers, and that has put her in a state of insecurity, extreme insecurity. But it's clear she has some kind of idea in her head that her man got fished by someone who's a, a lot more flashy with their sexuality, and as a result, she's done with this good girl shit. She's gonna be a hoe, because now in the age of social media, that's what she's competing with. You know, in a weird way, it almost feels like the flip side of the nice, nice guy, guy narrative, which I don't say that to belittle or insult the feelings being expressed on this track. I say that merely to uh, point out that uh, maybe men's and women's problems at the end of the day aren't really that different. Plus, I think narratively this track ends this EP off in a really interesting place because I, I think this project is really a point of personal and artistic metamorphosis for Jasmine. I mean, the vibe and the tone and the sound is certainly a lot different than that of her past records, even with her staying very firmly in the lanes of soul and R&B. Having said that, I'm very excited to hear what she ends up dishing out in the future, uh, while also enjoying the hell out of this EP, of course. I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8, on this one, Tran. Zishin, have you given this EP a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well over here next to my head. Another video that you can check out, hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Jasmine Sullivan, uh, forever.